Oh, Professor, say pray in Senegal because I see protest in the preacher soon. So we begin in Senegal, where they are running battles between protesters and police on the streets of the capital, Dakar, after a court decided that opposition politician Usman Sonko should remain in custody. Violence broke out two days ago after Sonko was arrested for taking part in an unauthorized rally. He's also facing rape charges, which he denies, saying the accusation is part of a plot to block him from running for president in 2024. Let's bring in Nicholas Haak, who's covering these protests for us from Dakar. Quite some unusual scenes on the streets of uh, Dakar today. Nicholas, tell us about what's been happening these past few hours. Well, yes, Tolly, we're, we're, we're in front of one of the main arteries of the capital. Normally, at this time of the day, it's mm -hmm. bustling with traffic. Look at it now. At the very end of the road here are protesters who earlier on were chanting Libéré Sanko, which means in French, Free Sanko. They're met with uh, police that in security forces who have shot um, tear gas. But on this roundabout, also, the military have been deployed for reinforcement. And in front of the military APC unit, a Total gas station, a French uh, gas station that was um, ransacked late last night by protesters. We've seen a night of unprecedented violence here in Senegal, not only in the capital, Dakar, but throughout the country. Um, we've seen um, protesters um, attack um, cars on the highway, attack French gas station, supermarkets, um, as well as um, 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 a police station in the region of Gejwai. So really a high level of violence. Right. Still, despite the presence of the military and all these security forces, no, no firing of live bullets. They're using tear gas. They're trying to contain the crowd. Right. Fully. It would seem from what you're saying, Nicholas, and the fact that this is becoming widespread now, that the protests are not just about the arrest of Usman Sonko. That's right. I mean, it's not just about Sonko because this country has gone through a very difficult year through the coronavirus pandemic. The government put restrictive measures, and that's very difficult for many of the protesters here who are day laborers, who rely on their daily income to go about their business. And when there was a curfew put in place uh, abruptly uh, earlier in, in the month of February, restricting movement at night, well, that put a lot of people without jobs. And last year, in fact, during the coronavirus pandemic, pandemic for the first time in in decades people in Senegal were reliant on food aid so mm. the the coronavirus uh, pandemic and the economic fallout of it has had a heavy impact right. on people now president Macky Sall has called on on debt relief to try to manage the situation but it's it's more than that it's really a feeling from protesters that right. they want their voices heard that they feel that they're not being heard by their government but there's Sorry? also the political aspect in, in all this uh, and the fact that president Macky Sall has been accused of trying to stifle the opposition of trying to uh, prevent the opposition from, from organizing itself and participating in elections. That's right. And, and in fact, the opposition accused specifically President Macky Sall of using the courts to uh, eliminate its political uh, rivals, starting with the son of the former president, Abdullah Wad Karim Wad, that was charged with corruption. And then there was uh, the mayor, the former mayor of Dakar, Khalifa Sal, who we just saw drove by in a show of support to these protesters, who was again charged with corruption, making him illegible, uh, unelegible to, to run for, for office. Usman Sonko is a political outsider. He describes himself as the anti-establishment um, um, candidate and politician. He wants to be the next president of this country. And he's been uh, really attacking the president quite directly, accusing him and his family of corruption, of amassing wealth, whilst most people live on less than $2 a day. He accuses the government also of playing into the hands of France, the former colonial power, allowing uh, French companies to operate freely and, and, and not doing enough to protect um, ordinary Senegalese. So all those emotion are wrapped up in the protest that you see behind me. And in fact, you can see it in the, in the, in the chanting. It's not just free Sonko. People have been calling for dignity uh, simply put, um, really a sense that they really want to get, uh, they want to see some change in their uh, political um, elite or, or the government so that their um, issues or their problem, problems are resolved by them. Foley?
Nick, thank you very much for that update. Nicholas Hack with the latest there on the situation in Dakar, Senegal, which we'll keep a close eye on here on Al Jazeera, of course.